Cedify has a new one for us, guys. And today we actually have a game to play to show you. It's an existing game that they're introducing blockchain mechanics to with their own token called Night Tokens and an NFT system. And it's called Forest Night. Now, it's available on Google Play, but I'm going to be doing it on the PC because I have an Android emulator, but this is a mobile game. Mobile games traditionally aren't my favorite, as fair warned, but Cedify, I'm into everything that they do. I'm partnered up with them, and I really, really like seeing the blockchain ecosystem introduced into games. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So like any other Cedify IGO, you'll need to be KYC verified on BlockPass and you'll need to be an S fund holder. I personally am not eligible for IGOs because of my location, I'm in the United States. But what you'll wanna do is if you do meet those eligibility requirements and you are an S fund holder, you'll be able to participate in this. You'll go to Cedify, launchpad.cedify.fund and connect your wallet here. And you'll scroll down, scroll down to the upcoming IGOs. You'll click on any of the IGOs that you're eligible for. In this case, we're talking about Forest Night. And this time, this starts in time, is specific to wherever you're at. So when you watch this video, if you know you're eligible, just come click on this link and it'll show you a countdown. And you could set your alarms or alerts in your calendars for anything that you need so you don't miss this. Typically, these sell out really, really fast because you get these tokens at a very, very big discount. But now that we know how to get into the IGO, let me show you a little bit about the game. So Forest Knight is essentially a turn-based strategy game. It's also free to play. You can get started as easy as just going to your Google Play Store and downloading the application. It, I did the same thing. I don't have a developer's copy or anything. It's absolutely free. I just have mine on the Bluestacks PC emulator for it. So I'm just going to click guest here and I'll show you what it's like to connect. But the cool thing is, is they're going to be implementing NFTs and night tokens to kind of run this whole ecosystem. If you're unfamiliar with NFTs, you essentially are able to take an asset that you get in game, whether you earn it or you buy it, and you can transfer it on a market to other people. So you can buy and sell and trade NFTs back and forth to one another when you're not using it. All of this as well is going to balance around the night token, which is going to be the cryptocurrency that we're using for it to power the ecosystem. Now, as a free player, you're just going to have to grind to get all of these rewards and special benefits and stuff that you can normally get from playing the game. But as an investor, you'll be able to speed that process up and get perks faster without having to worry about grinding the whole time. So from the Medium article, briefly it says, the Knight token will have real in-game utility and be an integral component in the game mechanics. Knight holders will be able to receive in-game benefits, but will also have a say on future development, sort of like a governance token. It's going to run the marketplace, so the NFTs that you wanna buy and sell will have to do with the currency night token players will be able to freely trade nfts with each other with these items dropping in everyday gameplay the first sellable items will be weapons and accessories which include rings necklaces and badges for instance night will be able to use as currency for in-game land sales as well allowing players to buy digital land upon which they can erect their cities cities allot plots and players can construct buildings that will reward them progressively with nfts in-game resources boosts and of course more night tokens they go into a lot of details about the other benefits as well as staking and the governance tokens and even go a little bit about the tokenomics and the token distribution models. 15% goes to the team, 2% for the seed round, 6% for the private sale and 2% for the public sale with a bunch of different vesting schedules as well as a little bit more distribution that goes along the marketing and ecosystem and reserves. The distribution schedule is marked here and is going to be Polygon integrated, which means lower gas for everybody. All right, so when you first log into the game on a daily basis, you're going to have a daily bonus. Now, I've already claimed mine for the day, but you can find it just by clicking on this daily bonus. And you have all sorts of little items that you're going to get along the way. This one being gold, this one being rune, and I forget what this one is called. But uh, And actually, at the end of the week, it'll be a special bonus that you get uh, from this little chest. And there's different things that you could do with those currency. You'll see them listed here at the top. One of them is to go to your heroes and upgrade them. So as you fight, you'll be able to level up. You'll be able to buy these from the markets as well, like we talked about the uh, the rings and the amulets and stuff. And you can also upgrade your heroes here. So my Forest Knight right here has 15 attack, five defense, 102 health, and he's level one, okay? So right now I also have a Paladin, 125 health, 15 attack, 
10 defense, and he has his skills right here too. Now, I can choose to upgrade these guys by clicking the upgrade button. I need 100 of the gold tokens and 34 of the rune tokens here. So if I go to upgrade, it says your level is too low to upgrade this hero. So we need to get a little bit of experience probably, and that's going to take some fighting. All right, so let's take a look at town quests. You can fight bandits, which is a 30 minute duration with a 20 gold reward. You can cook dinner for the elderly, and this one takes an hour with 20 gold as well. Or you can clean the town, which takes an hour and 30 minutes and get 200 experience. And that's what we're going to do right here. You can actually scroll over. And it looks like you can hunt boars in the forest for 20 of the rune or train young knights. And that's a three minute duration. Right now, I'm just gonna click the clean the town square. <laughs> so this is basically all of the quests that you could do at one time. If I try to do something else, it says other quest is in progress. You need to finish that first. So after an hour and a half, I'm gonna get this 200 XP. And you can do this throughout the days. These quests reset with this reset timer. So six hours, 18 minutes from now, these will reset. So if I'm done with the, if I want another XP reward, for instance, or there's other quests that pop up, I'll be able to click them again to do them again. So as the game develops and we start getting on chain, you'll be able to start doing things with your NFTs, like merging them to create more powerful NFTs. And that way you could kind of stand a better chance in a battle that we went through earlier. So there's also adventures that you can take part in. If you cl click at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, it'll show you adventures here and you can kind of get started. Now, I've already went through the first area, but let's go through the second area and show you. So there's possible loot here. You could get gold, XP, and weapons possibly. Clear rewards you start getting into the different currencies. It shows you what the type of enemies are that'll be, the cost to actually do this adventure which comes from food and the hard mode or heroes alive uh, reward bonuses for stars so we'll click play and then we'll go to this fight now there's some rocks that are in the way that you can actually destroy if you wanted to so let's for instance just move this out of the way and you could do a little bit of damage here i'm gonna move in and try to attack this as well and go to in turn and let the enemies come up and it looks like it's my turn again okay I'll actually be able to go here and attack her starting up. There we go. And now he's probably going to come in and start. Oh, Lord, girl. It looks like we took a little bit of damage or healed a little bit of damage. Maybe she has drain. Okay. So he's coming in with a second attack here. All right. So the paladin finished off her. This is a much easier fight than it was for the mine, right? So I'm going to go ahead and use my ultimate here. That way I can... Oh, no. Let's do that. And Holy activate. Battle Holy Battleground! So this is going to buff him. And now I could use my ultimate as well. Jump the Jump Clash. So that was a good bit of damage right there. Let's go ahead and in turn. And as long as I'm in this aura, I get that buff, right? I'm going to go ahead and move, and the aura moves with him, which is really cool. And that was a very, very easy win. And it looks like we got 31 gold. We have one of the swords that were a possible reward and a few bonus currencies. So let's go back to map. And we leveled up. We got a bonus chest and some more currency and food to be able to move a little bit further now. So let's go back to town. And if we go here to heroes, we'll see that we have this sword. So we can move the sword onto... Uh, our knight here and it brings up their attack score and let's see if we can upgrade yet yep we just upgraded too so now we're stronger than we were before we're higher level and we have a new weapon which means would probably stand much better chances in battle and that's kind of how the gameplay goes and you'll be able to recruit more characters as well you can look at any of these characters to recruit right now we would need 200 of these tokens or level three we can unlock this guy and they get stronger and more diverse as you go down some of these cost a lot of tokens as you can see here this one costs 5,000 tokens so quite a bit to go before we get to the samurai and now that we beat that little battle we go to open up that chest that we got from it we click on it it's like a loot crate and we got a hundred of the rune tokens so as you can see as far as it's through playing you're gonna get a lot more rewards as you go you'll be able to do harder and harder missions recruit higher level heroes train your existing heroes and equip them with different loot so that you can continue to get 
more rewards. Now, when the play to earn model is in place, you'll be able to get night tokens by doing all of this and NFTs, which you'll be able to trade on the market and do all sorts of stuff with. So as far as the development goes, it looks like they're making really, really good progress on their roadmap. They're going to be on chain soon with the NFTs that are going to be available and play to earn mechanics on a free to play game. I know I said I'm not a fan of mobile games, but this one is pretty solid. I play a lot of games on this channel, a lot of NFT type games that are in development, as well as cover a lot of project. And this one is really, really fleshed out for the gameplay mechanics already. There's a lot of things that you can do. You can already start playing the game and get accustomed to it and grow into these earning mechanics as they start getting integrated. It's a really, really cool idea. And the fact that it's free to play and it's easy to start with, really with really no commitment to see if you like the game, I, I honestly think that it's pretty solid. But this is not investment advice. I do suggest that if you like this concept, you like this game, check out the Cedify IGO. Get in if you're eligible. These things are usually really, really lucrative, these pre-sales. I trade a lot of NFT on pre-sales because a lot of the times they elevate in value. They're, everything can always go bust if you're not careful, but hopefully this video gives you enough information that you can make an informed decision about investing if that's your thing. If not, you can just download the game and check it out on your Google Play or emulate it like I did today. Other than that, guys, make sure if you want to find out more information, check the links in the description below. The Medium article tells you a lot of stuff about it. The links to the Cedify website will take you straight to the IGO so that you can start getting KYC verified and get into the pre-sale if you're eligible and covers all of the aspects of the games that we talked about today with their white paper. At any rate, guys, thanks for so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this type of stuff, make sure to join my Discord. We talk about NFT and blockchain gaming all day long in there. I'd love to see you around. And in the comments, if you have anything that you want to say about the video. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is signing off. We'll see you next time.